Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see this new video. If it's your first time here, welcome. I am a lifestyle YouTuber so I do stuff that pretty much pertains to all the facets of my life. And today we are going grocery shopping and we already meal planned and I will show you guys what that's all about. Grocery shop! <clears throat> So today we're on our way to Aldi's and Walmart. Aldi is huge because you can save so much money. Um, hopefully you have an Aldi's near you. And then we hit Walmart for anything that we can't get or we go to like a regular kind of grocery store. So today I brought the muscle and that muscle. I'm more of like the brains and the gamer. So, so I brought the muscle. I'm just the driver. And the brain, there you go. Now, really, I don't like to go by myself. I get kind of overwhelmed. Do y'all got? Do y'all get overwhelmed with grocery shopping? Cause I do. So it just happened to be a Tuesday afternoon, and this guy was off work. This guy is kind of on spring break, kind of not, cause we're homeschoolers. And so I thought I would get this out of the way while I had some help. All right guys, so this was the meal plan that I made. So I always just sit down and make some kind of meal plan. Woo, the driver's being crazy. The driver's going through the roundabout. <laughs> okay, so this is the meal plan. As you can see, it's pretty easy. My last one was super easy too. I've just like not been feeling all these like complicated meals. So I pretty much, we just kind of sat down, huh? And I asked you guys, what do you want? I said, what do you want for dinner? And we sat down and made this list. Nobody's even paying attention. Uh, go straight on driving. <laughs> and so tacos, spaghetti. This is a Pioneer Woman um, casserole that's so good. We decided to have tortellini, pork chops. Um, I do have a whole chicken in my freezer, so I don't have to buy that. And this is a casserole that my friend made for me right after I had that guy back there. So it's definitely a, a favorite because it's about 10 years old. Um, and this is a really good recipe I make. Probably, oh, it's probably always in my meal plan actually. So it's chimichangas. I have no idea if I spelled it right. Then... I also made some notes about lunches and stuff because we do homeschool. So I asked Ryan when, um, what do you want for lunch? What do you think? So we kind of do, um, he doesn't really like breakfast even if he gets up early enough for breakfast. He just kind of waits it out to lunch. So a lot of these are kind of breakfast lunches. So those were kind of the things we got. Um, I knew I wanted to get, um, just some drinks and some stuff for fruit smoothies for me because I've been loving those. So then what I do is I take this list, I go down, a lot of times I will make separate categories for like the refrigerated section, the vegetable section. Today I was just kind of lazy and I made this list. So this is my grocery list y'all. It is not what I usually do. Oh my gosh, I usually make it so much nicer than this. Um, but this is based on all those meals, as you can tell, like the top starts with like stuff I need for tacos and it kind of goes down into what we need based on each meal. So it's going to make it a little bit harder to shop, but I'll be okay. All right, everyone, change of plans. On the random, we decided to come to Costco. Definitely. So Costco's about an hour away from our house, but we did not realize that it was gonna take so long because we left um, kind of where we would hit rush hour traffic. So oh, that wasn't smart, but that's okay because we got here and I don't have a Costco membership anymore. So I'm gonna get a new Costco membership and go shopping so you guys can come with me. All right, you guys, look at my cart. Right, and we did, so, and we barely got anything on the list. And so this okay. is so my cart. All open my door, so there you go. Oh dear. I don't know if it's gonna fit. 
That's why I got that guy. Did we get too much? Yes. <laughs> so y'all, we got, that's how much I spent. Let's see if you can see. So look at my list. I have marked off some stuff, but not that much. So, oh, I need to get romaine lettuce. That's true. Yeah, I got a lot to get still. So this is the Tetris game going on. All the things. All right, guys. Here's what the two hundred dollars looks like shoved in the baby car. There's so many things. Somebody's trying to fit it all in. It's hard. Hey guys, welcome back. Let me show you my Costco haul. We spent $199 at Costco. We also spent $77 at Aldi's. My budget was like $250, but if you're thinking just food-wise, I definitely stayed under budget um, because this included some household items as well. So um, without further ado, let me show you what I got. So this is my table. It's pretty full actually of all the things. I love Costco's produce. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about that. So I ended up getting three cucumbers. Um, these are about $2.99. I ended up getting a big thing of red potatoes. Um, this will be good. I know this will last us a while too. These I love, they're $5.99 at Costco. Organic squash, but it comes with um, three or four zucchini, and then looks like looks like four of each. So four of each for six dollars. That's awesome if you like squash. And the summer squash down here um, is not huge or anything, but it's pr it's actually pretty good, I think, for this time of year. We are just early summer here, or we are actually early spring here. So I went on to get some other fruits and vegetables. I got the greenest bananas I could find. These were $1.39 for three pounds, and I like had to dig down. So they are definitely green, but what can you do? Um, I did not buy the organic ones. I have no idea why, but so that's why they're a little bit cheaper than normal. These, this was a five pound bag for $5.99, I want to say, of clementines. And y'all, if you have not watched my other videos, I'll link them here. I've been peeling um, like half a bag at a time of clementines, and my guys are just eating them like chips, y'all. It's the best mom thing I've ever done in my life. I don't know. Silly, but it works. These are the best. My guys love this salad. Oh my gosh. It's $3.99 for a kit. I usually don't buy kits of salads. And if I do, I'm just buying it for like me, myself, and I for a lunch one day. Um, but my guys love this salad. I have no idea what, why, what the difference is. I have no idea. They're $3.99. I got two of them. And that might seem kind of excessive for us but my guys love salad. They'd eat a salad before every meal if I made it for them. These are my favorite granola bars from Costco, and I wish I could say this was from my child or my husband, but no, it's from me, but that's okay. This is something new that I've bought at Costco that I have not bought before. I always buy organic ground beef or grass-fed beef, um, and I always buy them in the one pound things like this. This whole thing was $20. I want to say it was like $19.99, $19.98. Um, but each, it's for four pounds of beef. And they and they split it up into one pound um, and a third. So I actually thought that was really good because I have a meal that I really wanted to have a little bit more than a pound. But I wouldn't go as far as to open another package. So I've been usually buying the pound packages. So the, actually the price is the same. So four pounds of meat is the same as what I'm getting for, from Walmart um, in the organic grass-fed beef 
So I thought, well, you know what? Let's try it, see if we like it better. I really only needed one, maybe two of these, um, but that's okay. I'll definitely take a third. This is something that everybody raves about on YouTube, and last time I bought it, I left it with my husband to be, I actually brought it with me to where he was traveling, and he actually ate it without us, so I've never even tried it, but he loves tortellini, he loves the cheese one, and this would be great. It's huge, you guys, it's huge. Two things, and I wanna say it's $10, so about $5 per meal. I thought that was actually a great price. You can definitely tell my husband went with me. Look at these. He loves these. And this is what got him to go to Costco. He's like, can we get some of that pirate's booty? I'm like, oh my goodness. So we actually got two of them. They were a little more expensive than I remember. They were $5.99 each. Um, that's for 18 ounces. But oh my gosh, if you guys have ever had this, it's really, really good. I mean, you can just, oh, it's so good. And I would almost rather have them eat this than like chips anyway. So, um, cause it's a more of a baked kind of snack. I'm sure it's not wonderful for you, but I would say it's better than some. So this is some of my household stuff. So like I said, um, we kind of stocked up on some things and these were a few of the things that we stocked up on that really pushed my budget way over. But, um, so that's why I didn't feel bad actually with coming out with this total. So this all I want to say was $14.79 and um, it says it does 158 loads. I can't actually use this the way it's intended. So you're supposed to be able to lay it flat right here and just push the little buttons. And so because of where my washer is, I am too short y'all. I cannot reach. So what I'm gonna have to do is just refill my regular bottle, but I think this will still work just as well. And um, I actually thought that was a really, really good price. I've been buying the regular bottle for about four to five dollars. So I'm gonna see how long this lasts and maybe it will be a thing. This is definitely not something I always buy in bulk. Um, but I don't know why I don't buy it in bulk. So this is dishwashing soap. I usually try to buy the Cascade that has um, the little Clorox symbol right here. So it's like has bleach in it, which I know sounds weird. I don't know why. Um, I just feel like it sanitizes everything and that's awesome. So um, they didn't have it at Costco and this was the closest I could get. This was like nine, almost $10. And so I'm going to see how long this lasts too. I've been buying the little packs that you just like throw in your dishwasher. But I'm going to see if maybe this lasts a little bit longer than those. Bags have been our nemesis lately, y'all. So hopefully these kitchen bags will be good. Oh my goodness, it just seems like we're buying bags every time we go to the store. I have no idea why. So this is 200 bags. I'm hoping that this will last uh, a good long while. I want to say these were about $15, $14, $15, and I think the price of bags is ridiculous. So if you guys agree with me, like, tell me in the comments below. Don't you think trash bags are, like, the most craziest thing to buy that are so expensive? Like, why pay so much money to put my trash in something and throw it away? Like, oh, it just irks me. I have no idea why. Do y'all have something that just irks you like that? Just let me know. I know I'm crazy. So over here, there's a whole big thing of romaine. I think this was six romaine hearts. I want to say this was four. I want to say $4.99, but I, it might be $3.99. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but this will definitely get eaten in my house. We've kind of been going on like a salad kick lately. And so this will definitely get eaten and be good. This, y'all, I was so excited about so excited this spaghetti sauce i have to credit youtube i saw the sauce hauled so many times it's the Bertoli organic olive oil basil and garlic i did classico for years y'all years more years than i could count and i said you know what i'm gonna try this it'll be all right 
in Walmart. I want to say these are like $2.38 for one. This thing was $8.99. So this was definitely a really good price. Um, pretty good deal. A little bit cheaper. And I always have it on hand. This is like my go-to meal. Let me know what your go-to meal, meal is in the comments below because mine is definitely spaghetti. My husband will actually get sick of it because it's my go-to meal, but that's okay. Um, my kid always eats it, always loves it, and it's so versatile because we're definitely going to use this sauce on the tortellinis that were over there. And um, I think there was something else on my meal plan that we were going to use it for as well. But quick, easy dinner. Can't go wrong. These two spices um, were something I did not plan on buying, but I definitely needed garlic. I was out. I can't even remember the last time I bought garlic, so I didn't even feel bad about buying it. This was $5.99. I hear everybody talks about the Kirkland brand spices like they're gold, so I'm sure it's going to be wonderful and good. Um, this was kind of a splurge as well, but let me tell you guys, I make tacos about once a week. My guys really like tacos and I've been buying the taco packs, right? So it's just the one size envelope packs. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You see them in the grocery store. They're like 89 cents, 99 cents and putting that with my meat, they love it. And I usually use ground turkey and sometimes I use ground beef. Well... The last couple times, I've been forgetting this um, packet. I don't know why. Like, I just cannot remember it at the store. So I saw this for $5.99, and I thought, are you kidding me? All of this for $5.99? And I've been buying a two-ounce envelope for a dollar. So this is definitely worth it because it is 24 ounces. So I'm going to get at a good maybe 12 meals out of this. So it is definitely worth it. It's half the price of what I would pay at the regular grocery store. So those items I really did not plan on buying, but I'm really glad I did. Went ahead and got eggs since I was there. I want to say the eggs were like $3.69. Um, I didn't buy organic egg, eggs. I just bought the cage-free eggs. Um, the organic eggs were like $5 something. I don't know. Um, I kind of go back and forth. Let me, let me know in the comments below which kind of eggs do y'all buy. Because I kind of go back and forth. I really don't know the difference between what the cage-free would be or what the organic would be. This says that they're 100% vegetarian fed. I don't know. I'm not sure. So I am going more vegetarian myself. So I felt comfortable buying these kind of eggs. But I don't know. I kind of go back and forth. So, And I definitely wanted to get a 24-pack because... Um, you know, Easter's coming and we got to dye some eggs for the Easter bunny. So, um, probably I might end up going to Aldi and just getting some cheap eggs to do that as well. Though <laughs> You guys know how I, you know, how, you feel me. You know how, you guys know what I mean. So over here, we're almost through the table. We've almost got there. Um, the yummy stuff. Oh my gosh, the stuff I love. Okay, so these are blackberries. Look at these guys. These are my favorite. I just like literally just like wash them, put them in the refrigerator, leave them like this, and then I just like go in the refrigerator and snack on them all the time. So this was $4.99. This very small ones, this is 18 ounces. I think about six ounces at Walmart is like two or two fifty, I want to say. So I thought this was a great deal. Um, I don't put these in smoothies, but I do snack on them all day, and if I have them, it's I just feel like it's such a better option to have at my disposal. So if you like blackberries, oh my gosh, these looked amazing. The other things were grapes and strawberries. These grapes were uh, these grapes were four twenty nine, I want to say, and they just looked amazing to me. Let me show you guys. I've been actually contemplating taking my kid strawberry picking, but look at how big they were, and they just looked awesome so I have been doing a lot of strawberries in um, smoothies lately but I did have some frozen ones so I really wanted to get some to just put alongside some lunches like cut up a few put them you know alongside little lunches and things like that I think I'm actually gonna process this stuff so I think I'm gonna actually wash it and cut it all up so I have it just at my disposal when I want it because I just don't want them to go bad thinking you know, I paid $4.29 for these. We're going to eat every single strawberry. 
the other thing that is kind of expensive is I did get these organic grapes. Um, they were $8.79. They were probably the first thing I picked up actually. And um, I always keep grapes in my refrigerator uh, for my kid. And I usually try to put them with his breakfast and with his lunch. Just um, a few here and there. And um, my husband will snack on these as well if he sees that they're like washed and easy to grab type of thing. So that was everything on my table. So you can see it is very full, very full. The other things that we did grab there, so you can tell my homeschool mom, there's a timeline on my dining room table, or on my dining room wall. Doesn't everybody have a timeline of the space race on their dining room wall? Yeah, we do. So I ended up getting three of these. Um, they're just bottled water. I like to keep four cases of water on hand. I know that's crazy, but I just do. And these were $2.99. I really love getting Costco water because I feel like it's such a good deal. So these are 40 bottles for for $2.99. We actually got three of them. So that was about $10. And so we did get some bath tissue that is covering up all of the space vocabulary words because doesn't everybody have that in their dining room as well. And this I want to say was about 16 ish we actually went back and forth and compared a lot of the prices on the quantities you got of the um, paper and this was actually the best and so I have not used this in a while it's been a couple of years I want to say so I'm hoping that it's soft and good because I see people buy it all the time how um, it's amazing how $200 just goes like that and we actually got our Costco membership today as well. So that um, put us 60 more dollars. But I feel like we did stock up on a lot of things. So there was a good majority of this stuff that was household items that we did stock up on. And I am really excited about that. So if you're just talking food wise, I actually did stay way under budget. Um, and I will try to do the math really quick and get those totals for you guys as well. Okay, so I did the math. About 55-ish dollars went um, to household stuff that was not food related. So that would make my total from Costco to be $145. And my total from Aldi's was $77, $78. I think it was like 77.25 or something like that. So that actually puts me under budget. So I did really good. Um, I did need to get, I wanna say, two more things. I could not find just a single red onion anywhere, which is crazy, right? And I needed to get salsa and some syrup. But other than that, that was the only stuff that I did not get on my list. Stay tuned, I am going to show you all what I got at Aldi.